Shabbat Shalom, everyone. A couple of years ago, I had the opportunity to officiate at the wedding of two of my dear friends. Like many other simchas in 2022, this wedding had been postponed multiple times throughout those years of quarantining and the coronavirus pandemic. It just so happens that the Torah portion from their wedding week was this week's Parsha, Beha'alotecha. Of course, Beha'alotecha covers several different topics, but as we stood under their chuppah, I chose to teach about the idea of Pesach Sheni, or second Passover. Now, Pesach Sheni is certainly one of the lesser known occasions on the Hebrew calendar, so a little background first. You see, there was a group of Israelites and they were upset because they had to miss Passover. Now, this wasn't any old Passover. It was the very first Passover. Imagine for a second that you have tickets to see Springsteen at MetLife Stadium, but then you're not able to go because you got sick or for whatever other reason. Now, the Israelites didn't have to scroll through their friends' Facebook posts or, or their Instagram photos but we can still understand how upset one might be to miss the very first Passover in human history. What could God and Moses do? The days of Passover have already passed and everyone else has moved on with their lives. So what's done is done, right? Well, God and Moses came up with an answer. From now on, all those who miss the opportunity to observe Passover will have a Pesach Sheni exactly one month later to observe the holiday exactly the same way. There are two lessons one can glean from Pesach Sheni that I'd like to highlight. First, it most directly reminds us of the importance of inclusion, both in our communities and in our personal lives. I was once by, taught by a colleague who was taught by their teacher the following adage, always find a way to say yes. Everyone should be afforded the same opportunities, even if we have to get a little creative and twist the way we think. And second, we can connect Pesach Sheni to one of Judaism's core principles, tshuva, or repentance. Just as we need to be the ones making sincere teshuva to others, we need to accept their repentance just as well. Everyone deserves a second chance. After many day changes filled with tremendous uncertainty, those friends of mine were at long last able to have the wedding they had always dreamed of. And God gave that group of Israelites the Passover experience they had been looking forward to, the experience that they deserved. As we head into this Shabbat, let us continue to build a world of finding ways to be inclusive and ways to say yes, and a world of giving one another that crucial second chance. Shabbat Shalom.